Hello, good morning, all of you. Today, we are going to start with our syllabus of the course that is Chemistry Second, CH 302. And in that, I am going to deal with the Section Second, Organic Chemistry. And out of these three topics, that is aromatic hydrocarbons, alkaline aryl halides, alcohol, phenols, and ethers. We are going to start with aromatic hydrocarbons. So, as you studied the chemistry of carbon compounds since the lab started, the term hydrocarbon, that is hydrocarbon itself, indicates that the compounds form by using carbon and hydrogen. And so, in general, these hydrocarbons are classified into two types, that is aliphatic and aromatic. Aliphatic and aromatic. Now, when we say aliphatic, these are termed to be the all compounds, open chain compounds formed by using the carbon atoms. And in aromatic compounds, when we say aromatics, here we are supposed to say it as cyclic compounds by using only one type of atom that is carbon, the rings are formed varying from 3 carbons to n number of carbons. So here instead of saying aromatic, if we say cyclic, that is the ring compound, that is the ring compounds which is formed by using any one type of atom. And so here the atom which is used in the cyclic compounds in organic chemistry is carbon. And so these cyclic compounds can be classified as aromatic and non-aromatic. <coughs> non-aromatic. So the ring compounds or the cyclic compounds formed by using only one type of atom that is carbon and which obeys Hooke's rule. As per the recent definition, the compound which obeys Hooke's rule, the cyclic compounds which are obeying Hooke's rule are termed to be aromatic and which do not obey Hooke's rule are termed to be non aromatic. So, when we deal with this aromatic type of compounds or the aromatic hydrocarbons. Here, aromatic hydrocarbons can also be further classified as monocyclic and polycyclic. Monocyclic and polycyclic. And these are all homocyclic aromatic compounds. These are all homocyclic Homocyclic in this sense, by the ring is formed by using only one type of atom, that is carbon. And so we can say only and it is as homocyclic. Means there are there is again another type that is heterocyclic. Means the cyclic compounds can be classified as homocyclic and poly, uh, heterocyclic. And then we can deal with aromatic and non-aromatic and the further classification will go on increasing. But for our general studies, wherever you the aromatic compound is in 12th standard, here we are going to start with the aromatic hydrocarbons and here we are supposed to study the case of the benzene. Now, monocyclic and polycyclic means only one ring is formed. And when by using the different carbon atoms, when two or more than two rings are formed, they are called as polycyclic. And so the example from this monocyclic is benzene. And for the polycyclic, it's Naphthalene and Racine, Naphthalene, means which is family of the loop, that the two rings are attached to each other and they are called unsaturated. Yet, if there is only one ring formed by using six carbon atoms and six hydrogens, and there are three alternate carbon carbon double and single bonds. And Racine, in which there are three rings. There are three rings attached to each other. 
And so this is called as anthracene. Benzene, naphthalene, and anthracene. These are all aromatic compounds, and these are formed by using only one type of atom, that is, power carbons, is called as homocyclic. And so, now the term that we say that this compound is aromatic, or these compounds are aromatic. So, how this term came into existence? So, the term aromatic, in which the aroma. So, aroma is nothing but your smell. So, all these aromatic compounds are having a peculiar smell. And so, the very first, on the basis of the aroma, the compounds are considered to be as aromatic. But this was overruled by some objections which were again further discussed. Then, what were the objections? Means the abnormal behavior of the aromatic compound shows some abnormal behaviors. So, what are these abnormal behaviors shown by the aromatic compounds? As we have studied, perceived the structures of benzene, naphthalene, and anthracene, we came across that there is a presence of conjugated system, there are the presence of there is a presence of double bond, alternate double and single bond. And so, according to our chemistry, whatever we studied. The unsaturation is there. That means these rings or these compounds, aromatic compounds, are fully unsaturated. And so, what is the property of the unsaturated compounds? So, unsaturated compounds are supposed to have or supposed to give the addition reactions. But here, this compound shows the abnormal behavior that instead of giving the addition reactions, these compounds are giving you the substitution reactions. So, here, if the molecular bromine is going to get added, you will get the formation of the compound that is HBr and here HBr and here when it undergoes the substitution here it undergoes suppose substitution and here it undergoes addition. What will be the products? So when it gives substitution, it gives you the formation of a bromobenzene. And here you get the formation of 1, 2 dibromobenzene. So what is the difference between these two compounds? So the difference between these two products which are obtained, here due to the formation of the addition product the aromatic character or the stability of the benzene ring is lost. Whereas, here after giving the substitution reaction, this molecule remains stable and the aromatic character is retained. And so, these compounds, aromatic compounds does not show addition reaction but gives you the formation of a substitution product. So, this is one of the abnormal behavior. So these are the reactions that we have studied of the aromatic compounds in 1200 dose. So further, the second means here the objection is there abnormal behavior, abnormal behavior gives substitution reaction rather than rather than addition. This is one of the abnormal behavior. And the second abnormal behavior of this aromatic compounds. As we have studied the structure of benzene in which there are three double bonds and three single bonds. Three double bonds and three single bonds. Now, what are the studies we have done? that the carbon-carbon single bond length is 1.54 angstroms. The bond length is 1.54 angstroms and that of the carbon-carbon double bond is 1.34 angstroms. So, in benzene, there are three double bonds and three single bonds. Means the bond length of the carbon-carbon double and single bonds in benzene must be 
1.54 and 1.30. But whenever this, when this molecule was studied by the scientists, they came across this abnormal behavior that all the carbon-carbon single and carbon-carbon double bond length in benzene or in benzene it is to it is it was found to be 1.39 angstroms 1.39 angstroms means in aromatic compounds the bond lengths of carbon carbon double bond and single bond is uniform so it's not different and so this is one of the abnormal behavior that is shown by the benzene and so the very first aromatic compounds were classified on the basis of the specific aroma then they were classified on the basis of the compounds which shows abnormal behavior that are termed as aromatic compounds and then further Huckins, scientist Huckins, he put forth the rule and it was named after his name that is the Huckins rule for aromaticity aromaticity was this aromaticity was described by Huckins rule and what it says it says any fully conjugated fully conjugated planar planar cyclic any fully conjugated planar cyclic system which contains which contains four n plus two pi four n plus four n plus two pi electrons four n plus two pi electrons are termed to be aromatic are termed to be aromatic means according to the Huckel's rule any cyclic fully conjugated planar cyclic system which contains 4 n plus 2 pi electrons are termed to be aromatic which obeys this rule the compounds which obeys this rule are said to be aromatic and so Using this formula or using this concept, who can study the different molecules and so according to that, where n is a simple integer starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So this is nothing but so here benzene, naphthalene. and calcium. So these are the three different 